In this video, I'm gonna show you five free design resources. Let's go. So before we get started, let me remind you, if you're looking for tips, tricks, hacks, tutorials, or other design inspiration videos, then make sure you click that subscribe button. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified every time that I post a new video. You may notice the background behind me looks a little bit different and that's because I'm not home at the moment. I'm in the US for the next few months. So if there's something you want me to cover while I'm here, something that's particular to this country, then definitely let me know in the comments and I'll make a video on that. So let's get started. Five free design resources and I'm gonna share my screen with you and go through each website and then tell you a little bit more about each one and what I use it for. So let's go. So the first free design resource is pixabay.com and I use this quite a lot, but not for the reason you think. So on Pixabay you have like stock photos and stock video, but what I use Pixabay most for is for stock illustration. And so if I'm doing like carousels or other kind of like social designs, what I'll do is I'll find an illustration on here and use it in that. So the way to do that is if you search for something, let's go with like lion, and then if you choose illustrations, what it will do is it will just filter through on all the things that are uploaded that are illustrations. So I've got Lion here. Now there are gonna be some cheesy things, like some you know things that are more for like kids, but you do occasionally get a really good vector illustration, like this guy here. So these are the kind of things that I hunt for and I find and then I add it to a collection on my profile. So definitely check out Pixabay, it's really helpful. You can download this as a free vector and use it in any of your commercial projects too. So this is a bit of a lifesaver if you're looking for those cool vintage illustrations. The second design resource is called undraw.co and this is perfect for if you're making websites or if you're doing like email templates. This has a ton of different illustrations that you can use. So you can search for something, so say we wanna search for subscription-based, uh, if you're doing a subscription-based website, you can search and then you can see different illustrations that fit that topic and then you can click on that. And the cool thing about it too is that you can also change the color to match your project. So you can come in here, you can add a hex code or you can choose from some of the templates and they automatically change the color, which is great. Then you can just go ahead and download that as an SVG and it's entirely free. So this is a perfect thing if you're trying to spice up your emails, if you're trying to spice up your website and make it look more professional or more tech based, this is the website, undraw.co. The third resource that I love to use is called blog.spoongraphics.co.uk. And you probably know Spoon Graphics from his YouTube stuff, uh, but he has a website as well where he uploads a lot of the freebies. So you can come onto this blog here and then go to freebies and there is a ton of stuff and I use a lot of this stuff all the time. So one of the things I use the most, uh, you have to dig through this, but is the dust, the film dust effects. and I pretty much use this on every project. So whenever I make a design, I just throw this dust on, reduce the opacity slightly, and then just have these kind of like speckled aged effects. So you can find some really useful things on here, entirely free, and also you'll probably end up using them just as much as I do. My fourth free design resource is called brusheasy.com. Uh, Brush Easy is like your one-stop shop for Photoshop brushes. That was a hard thing to say. So you can go on here and search for basically anything you want. So I use this if I'm doing like uh, light glimmers or light glints. And you can also use this if you want to do like spray paint cans, that kind of thing. Uh, there's tons of free brushes on here. Some are premium, but most of them are free. And you can just go ahead and search like spray paint, for example, here. And there is hundreds and hundreds of different Photoshop brush presets. So go ahead and download those, use them in your projects, and you'll be coming to Brush Easy quite a lot more. And my fifth free design resource is Creative Market. And you're saying, Hold on Ruben, Creative Market is paid for, but there is a section of Creative Market that is for freebies. Uh, they don't really announce it on here, so you have to kind of dig around for it. So you can either access it through the Get Inspired uh, section here, where it says free goods, or you can scroll down right to the bottom of the page and go to free goods here. Now the cool thing about Creative Market's freebies is that they get updated every single week. So make sure you set some kind of calendar reminder or a, a reminder on your phone and come on here every Monday and you get free fonts, free templates, free assets. There's a ton of things on here. You get six free and there's another three more that you get for free if you spend a certain amount. But most of the time you'll find pretty cool fonts on here or some kind of cool asset pack uh, and they only last for a week. So definitely keep checking this every week. Download them, have a folder somewhere of just free resources from Creative Market. But yeah, this is one of those ones that I think is kind of hidden 
but definitely worth checking out. So hopefully if you get anything out of this video, Creative Markets Free Goods section is the one. And a little bonus resource is called toolkit.com. You may have heard of this before. It's not free, but it's really, really good value and really, really useful. Uh, it's for video, it's for design, it's for all kinds of creatives. Uh, you can go on here, find a ton of different design tools, purchase them, download them, and use them in your projects. It's a great resource, uh, so definitely check it out. And you also find some of my products on there too. So there you have it, five free design resources. This is one of those videos that you should definitely send to your creative friends. They'll love you forever. Also, let me know in the comments if there's any free design resources that I missed, and I'll make another video in the future. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. It really does go a long way to helping this channel and consider subscribing for plenty more videos like this to come. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.